What are you doing? I'm trying to look cute. No, cute. And I'm not saying that. Are you excited for your show? Yeah. I'm excited. South Africa. Hello. Hi. Okay. Um. What, this is like your. What, how many times have you been? This must be the third time. Okay. Or, or fourth. <laughs> you know. But yes. Like a local now. I know. I know. It's family. <laughs> yeah. Tell us about the collection today. Because most of the kind of person that I am. But the inspiration ideally came from sometime last year. I think in November. I was in Burkina Faso, and honey. The women there ride on motorcycles everywhere. Now these motorcycles are not like cute dainty mopeds or anything, like kind of bush looking. <laughs> and it, you know, what was amazing was how elegantly poised they were on those motorbikes. And even with their cloth or whatever it, they were wearing, and, you know, what, their traditional garment and so on. And it just spoke volumes to me. For me, I saw functionality. I saw the ease with which they did this. And just even on something as rugged as a bike, how so elegant they looked. And for me, it, it, I said, you know what, this is Africa. So for us as a brand, we're always trying to find what the African aesthetic is. It's not always about the print. So it's these things. Is, is, this, is this energy? Is this spirit? Is this, you know, je ne sais quoi about the woman that we love? So how do we channel that through our collection? And that's where it comes. So you have a lot of kilos, a lot of, um, you know, pants, and then a lot of separates because that kind of woman, She's very she she experiments a lot, and then she's usually more opinionated. Like she knows she has she has a certain sense of style, and she knows herself. So give her pieces, let her pair it, and play with her fashion. Oh, nice. Yes, yeah, so. oh, nice. Um, and your your take on luxury fashion in Africa. What is luxury? I, really, I always ask myself, I said, what is luxury? Is it, is it how much the thing costs? Or is it the amount of craftsmanship that goes into it? We call ourselves a luxury brand because we appreciate, especially the artisanal elements of our pieces, the detailing involved and how much time it takes to, 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 to do that. And we're doing it to the best quality ever or possible. It should be able to match any luxury brand everywhere in the world. So that's what we are constantly striving to achieve as a brand. So for me, I still ask myself, I say, what, what, what is luxury? You know, it's, I'm not sure, you tell me. <laughs> I'm not sure, but there is certainly a market okay. out there. There is certainly a luxury market. People who appreciate finer things and appreciate the value and the effort that goes into making these pieces. So for, that's how I define it. Yeah. Okay, and an ode to Joan Weavers? Oh, she's my grandma. <laughs> no, do you know, I know her. <laughs> I feel like, <laughs> I feel like I know her. Because I watch Fashion Police. Like, I used to watch it all the time. My husband would just roll his eyes. No, but I love it. And then he got on it. It's like, it's on. It's <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I pay homage to her. Her wit, her energy, you know. I think she's my kindred spirit. <laughs> Instagram or Twitter? Instagram. I don't tweet. I don't even know how to. But Instagram is easy. Okay. Those juicy pictures. <laughs> so whose account should we be following on Instagram? Oh, follow Christy Brown. Okay. <laughs> follow Christy Brown. And, and you know Christy Brown and Christy Brown. And Christy, Brown. No, Christy Brown. But there's so, oh, there's so many. Yeah, Kevin Hart is funny. Okay, Kevin Hart. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny on Instagram. Hi, I'm Aisha from Christy Brown and you're watching Wakoya TV. Michelle, hi. Can you tell us a bit about this look we're going for? Okay, so for Christy Brown, what we wanted to do was create again a very pared down skin, supernatural, just focusing on lots of texture. Um, but we wanted to add an element of strength to the face. So we're focusing on the trend that we call streamlined, which is really all about a feature that kind of lifts the face. So for this look, we went with the brow. So we're really strengthening the tail of the brow um, and creating a little bit of a strong feminine um, accent on the face. And there's nothing more powerful than a really great strong brow. This summer, I think you want to focus on catching the light on your face. So it's all about highlights this season, contours of step back, 
So you definitely want to focus on getting beautiful highlights and you can get this many ways. Depending on the climate, powders are great. You can even dig into your eyeshadow kit and find amazing iridescent eyeshadows that you can use. Gold tones always work wonderfully for summer. What else is great for summer? Lips. I think it's all about a sensual, bright colored lip. Lots of matte textures we've been playing with. It's a lot sterner this season. I encourage you to make it a little bit more fluid, a little bit more juicy. There's something very feminine about the summer trends. So make it pretty. Lots of lashes, top and bottom, with a beautiful, supple red mouth, orange lip, pink lip. Make any color is good, but as long as it's supple and beautiful. Hi, I'm Michelle Lee Collins, the senior artist for Marcus Vedic, and you're watching Wakoyo TV. Hello, my name is Jackie and you're watching Guacoyo TV.